All right, this is Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 6. And in this lesson, we are going to be talking about non-unit fractions. Uh, so let's get started. So we're going to do a little bit of review first. We've got our fraction, good old 3 fifths. Now this is a non-unit fraction. And what's the denominator? So as parents and teachers, your task is to remind students of the meaning of fractions as often as you can. This denominator, what does the 5 mean? It means, and usually I, I talk about this denominator before I talk about the numerator. I don't know why. It just makes sense to me. But anyway, so what's the denominator? It's the number of equal parts that the whole has been cut into. So this fraction means the whole has been cut into five pieces. And what does that numerator, what does that three mean? Well, it means the number of equal parts that are being highlighted or shaded or maybe that's how many pieces we ate. It's it's the num it's the whoa. It's the number of equal parts that are being highlighted in some way. So here, the directions say complete the number sentence and estimate to partition each strip equally. So estimate means we're going to try and cut things into equal pieces, but we're not going to be totally perfect. Teachers, parents, please don't give your kids rulers. It's just not that important. Let them estimate when they're cutting things into equal parts. And then write the unit fraction inside each unit. And, uh, and then shade the answer. So, for example, what we can see here is we can see that we've got three-fourths right here. So it's been cut into four equal-sized pieces. We've labeled each of them as a quarter. We've shaded it in, and we wrote it as a fraction. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, let's do a couple of these. We won't do all of them. Let's do two-thirds. So two-thirds. Let's see. Well, we're going to begin by cutting it into roughly three equal parts, and that is not very equal. I don't think I did a particularly good job, but you know what? The idea is leave it. It's okay, as long as it's relatively close. And then so I labeled it. There's my one-third, one-third, and one-third. And then we should write it over here because it says two-thirds. Now they say they want us to shade it in. Uh, so let's shade it in and make this, and we're going to shade it in two thirds. There's one third and there's another third. So we've shaded in two thirds. And so there you go with that problem. You know, let's, um, let's skip down and let's do. Oh, let's do three-fifths. So, what does this mean? Well, three-fifths... Oopsies, I don't want... Big old... That's too thick. Let's do this one. Okay. Three-fifths. So, what does that five mean? That five means we're going to have five equal-sized pieces. And each one of those is a fifth. So, I'm going to label those a fifth... All right, and then because the numerator is a three, that means we need to shade in three of them. So one, two, three, and there is our answer for three fifths. So in this one, Mr. Abney bought six kilograms of rice. And he cooked one kilogram of it for dinner. What fraction of the rice did he cook for dinner? So the idea is, well, what would this look like? Well, if he bought six kilograms of rice, and then I'm going to identify the six. So I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut each of those halves into three pieces. So there's my six. So there's my six pieces. And if he cooked one kilogram of it for dinner... What fraction of the rice did he cook for dinner? So the idea would be, this is the one he cooked right here for dinner. 
So what did he sh uh, fraction did he cook for dinner? One sixth. Now what fraction of the rice was left? So that's all this stuff over here. So what fraction of the rice is that? That is five sixths. So if we wanted to, we could label this one sixth, and then down here is five sixths. And the last slide is uh, it's just it's pretty straightforward. Fill in the charts. Okay, so filling in the chart it says the total number of equal parts. So if we're going to do this part A here, uh, what are the total number of equal parts? Well, there's four of them. One, two, three, and four. Now, what's the total number number of equal of shaded equal parts? Well, we can see that's three. Three of those parts have been shaded in. So the unit fraction is one fourth because these are quarters. And then what is the fraction that's shaded? And we're assuming that the dark part is the shaded part. And the answer is three quarters. So let's jump straight down to C. All right, so first off, what's the total number of equal parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, what's the total number of shaded equal parts? And we've got one, two, three, four. So it's going to be four. Now, what is the unit fraction? Well, the unit fraction are sevenths. It's one seventh. And what fraction has been shaded? One, two, three, four. So four out of the seven, or four sevenths, has been shaded. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 6, where students are now building non-unit fractions by combining a whole bunch of unit fractions together.